The northern lights were visible across North America on Monday, June 2nd. Let me explain. Over the weekend of May 31st, a solar storm occurred and part of that storm included a burst of solar energy known as a coronal mass ejection. As a result, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration issued a space weather alert, stating that the type 4 emissions occur in association with major eruptions on the sun and are typically associated with strong coronal mass ejections and solar radiation storms. Later, NOAA also reported 10 centimeter radio bursts, which are generally short-lived but can cause interference for sensitive receivers including radar, GPS, and satellite communications. Scientists have long warned that strong solar storms can significantly damage electronics. Back in 2011, Thomas Bogdan of NOAA spoke on a podcast about a recent solar storm they had, echoing expert concerns that a powerful solar flare could be like a global Katrina for electronics, disrupting satellites, aircraft systems, power grids, and more. Fortunately, the storm over the weekend, while notable, was milder than some and did not match the intensity of the major solar event from the previous year. What it did deliver, however, was a stunning light show. States across the U.S., including Alaska, Washington, Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, Michigan, Wisconsin, Maine, Idaho, Wyoming, Iowa, New York, Vermont, and New Hampshire, were treated to views of the Northern Lights on Monday, June 2nd. Some areas may continue to see them throughout the week. If you missed the Northern Lights this time, don't worry. Scientists say the sun is currently in the active phase of its 11-year solar cycle, meaning more aurora borealis displays are likely in the near future. What do you think of the Northern Lights caused by solar storms? Let us know in the comments.